His reality about choosing an engineering major that no one talk about. You're gonna spend the next four years of your life, and you're probably gonna go in debt for a degree that either could launch your career or could leave you miserable. And the difference is, it all come down to this one critical decision that you're making right now. So. Stay with me because by the end of this video, you're gonna know exactly the framework to choose the major that actually fit you. Not your parents, not your friends, it's gonna fit you. If you don't know who I am, I'm Tian, I'm a mechanical engineer who was in your shoe a few years ago, and I almost chose the wrong major because I asked the wrong question. But if you stick to the end of the video, I'm gonna reveal the question that 90% of students never ask themselves and it's turned out to be the most important one. First, let's zoom out. Engineering isn't just one thing. It's a massive tree with different branches, and each branch can lead to a whole different career. So for mechanical engineering, this is probably the broadest engineering field. We design, build, and improve anything that moves and has moving parts. Think Tesla cars, SpaceX rocket, medical devices, manufacturing equipment, HVAC system, robotics, we're the engineer who figure out how to make things work mechanically and thermomatically. Electrical engineers design and develop electrical system, electronics, and anything that use electricity or electromagnetic field. This include power generation and distribution, like the electrical grid system, consumer electronics, things like smartphone, computers, laptops, etc communication system like 5G networks that we all use, satellite that's circling the earth right now, control system like automation in factories, and emerging techs like electric vehicles and renewable energy system. They work with everything from the tiny microchip to the massive power plants. Tuba engineers design and build and maintain the infrastructure that keeps society functioning. They are the backbone of civilization itself. This includes transportation systems like roads, bridges, airport, railway, etc. Water and wastewater system, building and skyscraper, dam and flood control, environmental cleanup projects, and urban planning. They are responsible for making sure bridges don't collapse, city have clean water, and transportation network can handle millions of people safely. Civil engineering has specialization like structural, for example, buildings and bridges, transportation like highways and airport, environmental like water treatment, pollution control, and geotechnical like foundation or soil mechanics. Chemical engineer design and optimize processes that transform raw material into useful product through chemical reaction and physical processes. This include pharmaceutical develop, for example, you're developing new drugs and scaling it up to production. Energy fuel, things like oil refining, renewable fuel and battery technology, food production, processing, preservation, and nutrition enhancement. Material, things like plastic, composite, and nanomaterial. And environmental solution, like pollution control, waste treatment, and carbon capture. They work at the intersection between chemistry, physics, biology, and mathematics to solve problems involving mass transfer, heat transfer, reaction kinetics, and processes optimization. Chemical engineers are the essential of the industry from petroleum to biotechnology. Computer engineer design and develop computer hardware, software system, and integration between them. This include processor design, things like CPU, GPU, Microsoft controller, embedded system, like automotive computer, medical devices, network infrastructure, routers and switches, cybersecurity system, mobile and web application, artificial intelligence, and machine learning system and emerging technologies like quantum computing and autonomous vehicle. They bridge the gap between electrical engineering and computer engineering, working on everything from the low-level hardware optimization to high-level software architecture. Computer engineers driving the digital transformation across different industries. Biomedical engineers apply the engineering principle to solve problems in medical and healthcare. This includes medical devices design, like the pacemaker, artificial joints, surgical robots, and diagnostic equipment. Tissue engineering and generative medicines, like growing organs, developing biomaterial, 
medical imaging system like MRI machine, T scanner, ultrasound, prosthetic and rehabilitation devices, drug delivery system, and biotechnologies, genetic engineering, medical diagnostic. They work closely with doctor, biologists, and medical researcher to help translate engineering solution into treatment that. Help save and improve lives. Biomedical engineers are at the forefront of personalized medicines and cutting-edge healthcare technology. But here's the plot twist, though: the major that you choose doesn't always end up to be the career that you're gonna go into. I know mechanical engineer who work in tech and computer engineer who designing medical devices. So keep that in mind. Okay, with that said, let me tell you how not to choose a major because I see students make this mistake all the time. Mistake number one is you following the money, and I get it. Some major makes a lot more money than the others, but that should not be what you're focusing on. If you hate your job, if you hate your day-to-day -day life, and you're miserable at your job, there's no amount of money can compensate for that. Plus, within any field, your skill and your passion matters so much more than the money. Mistake number two is you choosing based on what sounds cool, and I actually do this myself. I used to think that aerospace engineering is so cool, and I want to design planes and rockets and all of that. But then I realized that I might spend a lot of years just trying to calculate the stress for one single bolt, and that just not it for me. Mistake number three is you're doing what other people tell you to do, and I get the influence from your parents, from your friends, from what society tell you to do. But at the end of the day, it's your job. So what do you actually want to do? Your parents might tell you to become a civil engineer because the job market for civil engineering is pretty stable, and your friend tell you that software engineering and computer engineering is the way to go, and someone else might say that electrical and mechanical engineering are probably the broadest, and so you probably can do a lot with it. But what do you actually want to do? The question isn't what field pay the most. The question is something completely different, and I'm gonna review it here in a little bit. So here are the four proven pillar of framework to help you choose the engineering major that best fits for you. The pillar number one is your natural interest. So you need to ask yourself these questions: Do you love taking things apart to see how they work? Are you fascinated by the machine, the engine, the mechanical system? Do you enjoy understanding forces, motion, heat transfer, and how material behave under stress? Are you curious about how electricity works? Are you fascinated by the circuits and the electronics? Do you enjoy understanding how computer actually function at the hardware level and how power get from the power grid to your home? Are you fascinated by how cities and infrastructure function? Do you think about how bridges stay up and how water get to your house? How traffic flow can be optimized? Are you interested in large-scale projects that can impact an entire community? Do you get excited about coding? Do you enjoy problem solving with logics? Are you curious about chemicals, reaction, and molecular processes? Do you want to directly help people with medical solution, etc.? So these are the questions that you should be asking yourself when you're choosing a major. Pillar number two is your natural strength. Are you stronger in physics and chemistry? Do you prefer abstract problem solving or actual hands-on buildings? Are you better with mathematical concept or creative designing? Do you like to work alone, or do you enjoy working in team? You need to write these down because you are building your personal profiling right now. Pillar number three, and not a lot of people are talking about this, is the lifestyle references. This is huge, and most people ignore this. So ask yourself: Do you want to travel for work, or do you want to stay in one place? Do you like the office environment, or do you enjoy the field work, or do you want to work in a lab? Do you like the big corporation companies, or are you more geared toward a smaller company or a startup? Do you enjoy the nine to five stability, or you want more of a project based? Contracting work. Pillar number four is the market reality check. Okay, like I said, I'm not telling you to follow the money, but let's be realistic. You need to do your own research. You need to look up what the job market is like for your specific interest, for your specific major. What's the growth projection on each major? Where are the opportunities located geographically? 
um, what's are the typical career progression, things like that. If you make it this far, I'm going to tell you the one question that helped me pick my major. And that question is, what problem do you want to help solving? Not what do you want to study, not what sounds interesting, but what problem are you interested in solving? For me, when I realized that I want to solve problem and making things work better, whether it's making machine more efficient, better manufacturing processes, solving real world mechanical challenges, mechanical engineering gives me the foundation to understand everything from thermodynamics and fluid mechanics to material science and control system, whether I want to optimize engine and designing robotic system or improving manufacturing processes, they all come back to understanding how forces, how energy work and how material interact. And that led me to mechanical engineering. So let's relate that to you. What problem do you want to solve? Do you want to solve climate change problem? Or do you want to solve healthcare problem? Do you want to solve cybersecurity issue? Do you want to solve communication and connectivity problems? Um, do you want to solve infrastructure and urban planning problem? Do you want to solve the energy efficiency problems? Do you want to solve technology and software problems? Do you want to create a new big tech company? Do you want to solve manufacturing and material problems? This question will will cut through all the noises and will help you figure out your core motivation. Okay, so after all of the questions, here are exactly what you need to do. Step number one is the engineering audit. First, you're gonna list out three engineering problems that genuinely excite you. And you're gonna research what major will help you solve those problems. And don't worry if it's an overlap, that's completely normal. Step number two is the reality check. So you're gonna find three professional in your top choices on LinkedIn and you're gonna send them a respectful message asking about their day-to-day -day work, what kind of tasks do they do and what do they enjoy most about their jobs. And most engineers love helping students so we'll definitely respond to your message. Step number three is the trial run. You're gonna look up courses or YouTube channel that reflect the major that you want to go into and you're gonna spend about two hours learning about that course or that major. And you need to pay attention to which one make you feel more engaging, more inspired. And here's the bonus tip that helped you save years of regrets. I really wish someone would tell me this when I was an engineering student. Your first job is not your forever jobs. The beauty of engineering is the problem solving skill that can transfer in any industry. There are definitely a lot of opportunities and it's really just on what career you want to go into. So really, you don't need to be stressing out about making the perfect choice and focusing more on choosing something that genuinely interests you, building a strong foundation and stay curious and adaptable. The engineering mindset is what matters the most. If you like this video, drop me a comment, tell me what engineering problem you want to solve. I do love reading comments because I don't get many of them and I like to personally respond to each comment. If you're serious about your engineering success, subscribe to my newsletter where I email you monthly about engineering insight. It's helpful if you're an engineering student or an engineer and just want to stay inspired and want to better yourself. And if you want to go even deeper, I created this engineering major decision worksheet that will walk you through the entire framework step by step. The link is in the description of this video. So if you want to grab it now when you're ready for entering school. And finally, I also have a community on Discord. If you want to join, you can just send me a meme on there. So feel free to join. And if you don't mind, check out my other video where I talk about more entering related topics. And I will see you in the next one.